All right, everyone. Today, we're gonna be looking at box elder wood for firewood. And does it split easy? Does it split hard? And what's it like when it burns? So first, let's grab a couple pieces and get them split up. And then we'll talk about how it burns in the fireplace. Here's a pretty good example piece. No knots or nothing, box elder, straight grain. Let's see how this one splits. For this example, we're gonna be using the Fisker's splitting ax. Uh, sorry about the sun, if it makes it a little bright in this corner here. It's right in the morning and the sun is shining real nice on here. So let's see how easy this splits here. Let's give it a whack. Pretty easy. Not gonna have much problem at all with these smaller pieces. Fairly simple. Let's get a bigger one. All right, here's another one. It's a little bigger. It's got a couple knots on the bottom and on the sides. And uh, daddy long legs on it, that's nice. Get off. <laughs> uh, let's see how this one goes. Here we go. Oh, just sunk in on this one, but it is starting to crack open. Starting to crack open some more. Possibly just one more, and it'll come open. Pretty close. And my axe is stuck in here now. Here we go. Uh, that was a bad hit. Got to work on my aim. There it goes. So, as you can see, it takes a little more when you get to these bigger pieces, but once it's split open that one first time, the rest is easy cheese. Unless you hit it that way. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's try one more big one here. It's not all of them are the same. Here's one, the knot on the very bottom. It's kind of like slanted on the cut here. Rest seems to be fairly straight. It's just that one big one on the bottom. Try this one. Has been sitting outside for like two weeks. So it'll be a little harder to split than if it were to have been cut just a few days ago. So. Keep that in mind. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Oh, surprise, surprise. Two hits. Pretty straight green piece though. The side with the knot on it. So, is box elder good to burn? Well, one thing is it can be kind of stinky, but seasoning it for longer will help with that. And it doesn't snap, crackle, or pop a lot like pine does, so it's good for that. Also, it seasons really fast. This should be ready to go in six to eight months. So is box elder a good firewood? Yes, for camp firewood and outdoor burning for the fire pit. It's great wood, produces nice flame, and it's enjoyable to burn. So, with that being said, let's get all of it split up in fast motion.
some more room for more, which we're gonna go get right now. Should I slide you over to it? You guys ready? I wanna see some box elder loading into the trailer. Here we go. All right guys, got the trailer. We're gonna get some more box elder, mulberry. There's a little uh, walnut there. And then that uh, piss elm that's up on the hill. Might take two loads, maybe three. We might get two today, might get one. We'll see what happens. Let's get loading here. Let's get it home. All right, everyone. That's the load you just saw in the trailer. All stacked up in this corner here. Give or take uh, these ones that are <clears throat> a bit too long. I'm gonna cut them to length. Uh, yeah, some of those. This one, that'd be, uh, it'd take a long time to split. That needs to be cut a little shorter. Maybe even in half a little. But I thought this uh, box elder would be pretty easy to split, but it's proven me wrong. It's kind of hard to split. Yeah, look at that it's a tall stack. I'm six foot, and I'm probably two inches taller than the stack, so it's about six feet tall right there. It's a big stack of wood. Hey guys, look, I just made a sale here. There was a face cord right here that is gone. And the same person also bought a half a face cord of box elder that was right here. $170 sale, that's pretty good. I just uh, wheelbarrowed it up there and they picked it up with their car. It's gonna take them three car trips, but they're taking it. This is how I had it uh, propped up off the ground a little here. Because when it rains, the, the mud splashes up from the ground and gets on the end grain and gets it all dirty. Um, but I haven't done that with those stacks. I suppose I could do that. For those of you who uh, don't know, I think I did a video on this a long time ago. What all of those stacks are stacked on is pieces of pine like this that are just in a line and they rest on it like this piece is right here. Gets a little close to the ground. I mean, um, some pieces, if they're curved the right way, they'll touch the ground just a little bit. But I haven't had any problems with wood rotting or anything like that. But anyways, seems like the Facebook ad is working. I already got some wood leaving the wood yard so hopefully we'll get this these two stacks here gone and this one gone so uh the stack